How fickle my heart and how woozy my eyes. In this red post, and we're just going to look at about now. I think it was a few weeks ago. I think it was last night. We've just got a few little friends here. Hello. My weakness, I feel I must finally show. Lend me your hand and we'll conquer them all. But lend me your heart and I'll just let you. Okay, well, the lady whose house is burnt down is over 90, and when it was the rainy season, she used to be able to collect water in this water tank. But you can see for the heat from the fire has actually melted the water tank, so now she obviously can't collect water. And so she's over 90 to go and collect water for her, it's, it's quite a long way, so um, she's relying on the nature and goodwill of, of her neighbors. So, I'm not quite sure how expensive one of these things is to replace, but yeah. Well, we have day this lady's house uh, burnt down and um, we're just now we're just clearing it, getting it all ready to uh, clean the floor. Yeah. So it's still smouldering from the fire. Two nights ago, lost everything, it's still smouldering. We're clearing it out and we're going to build them a new house. How fickle my heart and how woozy my eyes. Yeah, basically. This is what you call community spirit. Everyone's coming out to help their neighbours clear and get this house rebuilt. My weakness, I feel, I must finally show. These are the posts that we're using to build the house, but it's a bit tricky because we have to put it over a sewer. So. Half us on one side, half us on the other. Hard work. Invest your life in these bodies, we will live. In these bodies, we will die. And where you invest your love, you invest your life. and it's all finished now so we're just taking a look at it. Okay, my name is Joseph Karanja and with her is Julia Wangari and we, we are all from Kenya and this is the lady that her house got burnt the, the day before yesterday and through the Generate team we've managed to build the house that you can see far behind us which is a, a two-room house that has been built through the Regenerate group. So we are very happy for you guys for this visit in Kenya, the 2012 visit in Kenya. Be blessed, be blessed. Thank you. Will you want my idea? <laughs> While some of us were building the house, others had to walk through the heart of the slum and collect wood to help build desks for the school. It wasn't the easiest job, but with teamwork, determination and local expertise, we managed to build several desks. The rest cooked a meal for us all to share. Right now, me and Matt are making some jabati. You have to twist it, turn it, punch it as much as you can. It's 
it's good fun. Yeah, it's good for stress relief. <laughs> Our love has changed. Our trip to Kenya taught us many things and opened our eyes to what life is truly it's like to many people. And the only way to say it is we made new friends and had a lot of fun experiencing new things. Better. I can't conceal this way I feel. All the time we spend together It's all us to grab every opportunity we get Forever. given Just gets better Our new family taught us to appreciate the things we will take for granted See what I'm trying to say is You make things better And no matter what the day is They showed us despite your circumstances you, you can still be happy it's better I stand by it empowered us to know that with a small act of kindness you can still make a difference if you stand by me I think it's time that I repeat it although we are leaving Kenya the things I've learned will stay with me forever but um, it made me realise that we don't appreciate each other's company enough and we're too hooked up on materialistic things. Taught me that just to be grateful with life as it is. Don't you don't have to have all this nice stuff to be happy. 